Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are uh, trying to get the last of the winter wheat cut. We have had a glorious sunny Sunday and uh, drying has been fantastic. So we've gotten stuck into the last of the wheat. Uh, I'm en route over now to uh, take a little bit of footage and I have to collect the trail off. So uh, we'll put the bit of footage off now. We'll see how things is going. And uh, yeah, come back to me uh, as we're picking up the trail off. All right, so going well, we're down to the last strips in this field, which is good to see. Uh, I see the spit trailer up there is full, and there's a cane trailer here full as well. So we will hook into the cane trailer here and take it with us because we can tip it in the yard and the Smith trailer, uh, it can head to the grain store. So we leave it full, uh, we'll take it back to the yard later on and put it in the shed. So we'll get reversed into this cane and uh, get her home.
just realize I've built walls a mile high to protect my heart. But now I'm all alone, stuck on the inside. The heart doesn't need a castle, it needs a bridge. Been too scared that I'm It's got 20 ton on it. It's, it, it can go up. And this cane trailer, it's a 14 ton cane, it's about half full. So we'll fill it up the rest of the way and we'll drop these two loads up to the grain store. We'll maybe leave the rest of it, we'll get the rest of it busted, and then whatever's left, it can go to the grain store as well. We'll fill, this, fill our shed here, get it all busted, and fill the shed. So at least we're sorted here in the yard then for, for winter or we're ready to go. So. Let's get the let's get this cane filled up. Uh, I'll set up the the 360 and uh, maybe do a little time lapse. I built these walls so I know that I'm enough. Just watch me tear them down. I'm gonna tear them down. If it couldn't break your heart, is it really? Is it really? All right, so moving on from the grain, we got that delivered earlier on, sorted, done and dusted. Uh, we are now back mowing. We're mowing some, this was supposed to be hay. Now, what are we mowing for now at the minute? I don't know. It could be, it could be silage, it could be, it could be haylage, it could be hay. It completely depends on what the weather's going to do. The forecast isn't bad for the next few days. There's a chance of some light showers maybe this evening and tomorrow. Uh, but again, not going to be much. And then wetness is very good. Torches will be very good. Friday, it's up in the air. It, there could be some light showers. Maybe not. Maybe no light. No. Maybe no rain. So depends completely what what the weather's going to do, uh, and and how quickly this makes and how it does. But it should make very quickly. It's it's well shot out. It's well browned off at this stage, as it should have been cut about a month ago. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. I don't know. I don't know yet what it's going to be. So we've 11 acres in this field here in in two parts to it, uh, and that is actually here alone with the 3650 as well. I'm going to leave him uh, at it here. Let him finish this field. I'm going to another field. That I'm going to cut. It's a lot heavier kind of stuff. So 
we'll see what it's going to be. I'd say it could be hailage at best. Uh, it's definitely not going to be hailage because it would need a week of dry weather to save it. So that's it. We're going to get some of this cut today and get some of it made and out of the way because uh, this week, one way or another, I made as something, even if it's in wrapped, just wrapped in bales and silage, uh, it's going to be made because we have to just get it out, done and dusted. So yeah, that's what we're doing at the minute. So we go on to the next. Right, so week. two days later from mowing it, uh, we're back over at the hay, tedding it out. Uh, we didn't get over yesterday to tell it out because uh, I had a family wedding to attend. Uh, my cousin Peter, who you'd see in some of the videos. Um, he was getting married to his beautiful wife Stacy, now beautiful wife Stacy, uh, and yeah, we had a great day at that. Uh, so all farming had to be abandoned for the day, uh, but we're back at it now today, and we are now uh, getting some. It is tedded out, and it's tedded out very well. It's unbelievable what it done yesterday, even in the rows. Uh, a lot of the green has dried out of it, and it is coming very fast. Uh, we're gonna. Have a good day today, good day tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully, and I think this should be ready by tomorrow dinner time. The way it's shaping up, uh, because it's warm, sun was out, it's clouded over a little bit at the minute, but it, it's due to come back out again. There's a good breeze, it's good drying. Uh, this this should be well on, I would say, by this evening. Uh, we might even tend it out again this evening and then roll it up tomorrow. So yeah, great to uh, get a little bit of weather. Uh, and hopefully get a little bit of hay made uh, and that would be absolutely fantastic. So we keep tending this out, we get it get it done and dusted and uh, see what's on next. Uh, I think we're gonna go bail on some straw as well. So yeah, we've we've a busy couple of days ahead of us uh, trying to get some of these jobs done and dusted. Okay, so on to the next job, and that is baling. We're uh, baling up a field of wheat and straw. Uh, we've baled mostly round bales, but we've baled about 200 small square bales as well. And we're going to keep them just for ourselves. So the plan with them is uh, we'll put them in on top of the, the barley straw that we already have in, and uh, we'll use them in the diet feed up as a roughage, or use some of them anyway. Uh, and it'll just it mean we'd have a little bit more uh, winter barley straw uh, just sitting that we can either use for bedding or maybe even sell it somewhere during the winter. It just depends on uh, what's what. So, uh, so that's it. Just finished the last bale now. And uh, yeah, great. Straw was in ideal conditions for baling up, which is fantastic. All right, so following morning, towards the morning, and this good weather uh, and drying is continuing. We got a load of straw loaded last night. That's actually barley straw that was baled last week. Uh, but we got all the straw finished up, the wheat and straw. We got it baled, uh, and we made the 300 uh, small squares as well, which we've loaded onto our old bale trailer. And we'll offload them uh, on a wet day. We'll leave that for... A few days now get them offloaded around the weekend uh, but straw was in great order for bailing so i'm just heading off now dad has actually just gone before me in the david brown he's away to row up uh, the 11 acres it is ready for for bailing and i'm going to tead out that this there's a smaller six acre plot uh, i'm going to tead it out 
and hopefully it should be ready this evening too but we'll have a look at it once we get over there all right so we're just finished heading out uh, actually Ted a boat bit. Dad came over with the brown I mentioned that he had just left the yard and he went to roll around the ditch in the top end of this field and there was a few little green bits showing up in it kind of like that see the way I look there's another one there there's not many of them but there's just a few little bits just showing up in it here and there and it just needed that extra Ted now just to to straighten them out and get rid of the those, those couple of green bits but it is very close uh, so this piece here and the other plot of land they're both roughly in the same place uh, it needed to it out it needs now there's lovely breeze the sun is out it needs an hour and a half two hours just to sit now after getting tethered out and then roll it in and when it's rolled in probably maybe about an hour start to build it up it'll be 100 percent so yeah great uh, there's 11 acres in this field and there's six acres in the other field so it'll be great to get those two lumps done and dusted out of the way uh, we've rain coming tomorrow and it could be rain i think maybe saturday or sunday one of those two days might be some showers but i think next week isn't looking too bad so we'll keep a tight eye on that over the weekend and possibly if things is looking like it's not too bad we'll drop the rest of the hay so Maybe we might get a little bit of a spell and uh, get the last of our hair done. So that's it. Uh, we will head off and, uh, and maybe when Dad comes over to do the rowing, I will uh, take the drone with me, get a bit of the usual day around footage of rowing in uh, and we'll see what it's like at that stage and then get it bailed today. So we're getting it done. Alright, so I'm going to do a voiceover in this part of the video. Uh, David Brown, as you can see, is out and in action. Uh, just rowing up. Uh, we started over along this ditch on the right-hand side. And we're about 10 rows out, or coming close to 10 rows out. Lovely little view over towards the mountain, just when I was coming over the top of the tractor there. Uh, I took a wee bit of footage of it, so just a nice little view. Um, so yeah, no issues at this stage. Uh, lots of sunshine, lots of... Uh, lots of drying weather, lots of wind, too much wind. <laughs> it, it was really, really windy. Even flying the drone here was a little bit of an issue. <sighs> we we developed, the further over the field we got here, we developed more of an issue with the wind. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't too bad where we are at the minute, but as we got up further on the hill, you can see there's quite a bad hill in this field. Uh, the further over we got uh, the and the higher up we got on the hill, the wind started to play a huge issue, a huge role in uh, moving the wind rows. Uh, actually, to the point where you can see, if you actually look on the hill there, there was some of them. If you go back on the video, you'll see them. Some of them were actually starting to move a little bit at that point. But as you follow up got up on the hill, the, the rows were actually just blowing. The entire row was rolling and disappearing. So it's not an issue that we ever had before because. It, we we wind, but we don't usually have that kind of wind with this kind of weather. So, great drying, uh, and it worked out well for drying the, the grass and the hay, but it causes a lot of issues for, for getting it bailed up. You'll see now in a minute, I just do a small video, uh, where I, you can see see the rows there, they're actually been blow, they've been blown all around the place there, they, they're, they're crossing over each other and all over the, all over the place. Uh, we end up having to bail directly behind the, the the hay bob, so, and even at that, they were still moving before I got them. Uh, the only thing was we were we were bailing, and rowing, upwind, of where the wind was the side the wind was coming from. So it was kind of blown over onto what hadn't been rowed, but you'll you'll kind of see it now. Here's a new one, having the bail straight after the hay bob because the wind is so bad here, just on top of the hill, that it's just blowing the roads around the place, like they don't exist. 
never seen it this windy before when we were making hay. But on the plus side, there's great drying. Uh, the downside, we do not want the hay ending up in the neighbour's field, <laughs> which could happen. But for one while, anyway, a good bit of the fields, be over halfway through and uh, making, making good headway. See if we can see it moving now in the wind. It's blowing it, but it's just not blowing it away the way it was when we were further off on the hill. Alright, so we have finished field number one into field number two, and uh, we're going okay. Field number one, no problem at all. Uh, the only issue we had was the wind blowing the windrows around the place a little bit. But field number two, we had a different issue. On the way over to field number two, uh, it's about two, mile, two and a half miles away from the, the first field, uh, we ended up with a spitting of rain on the window. Just out of nowhere, clouded over, and done a little bit of rain while it's travelling over. Um, I actually thought it was, it was over with. Now I travelled on over to the field anyway and as I got close to the field the road then was quite dry, not as wet as uh, halfway over. So checked it, it had done it, spit it a little bit on it but it didn't do very much. So I give it, it's still windy, the sun has not really come back out, you can kind of see it now, uh, it's still clouded over but it's it's, it's still warm, it's windy, it dry, give it a half hour, it dried off, and we're bailing away. It's it's 100% still. So, it's just fighting us to the end, uh, the weather. But, yeah, well, I, I hope we'll get it finished. Uh, I have, this is in three, it's actually in four different small fields, this. Uh, and we have two of them done, and we're now in, in number three. There's about six acres in this in total. Number four is there, just the other side of this little roadway. So, we're getting there. We're going to keep at it because I just haven't got time to hold the camera at the minute. I'm just going to have to keep motoring on. So, we are done and dusted. Bale's all made. And I have to admit, I feel very, very lucky to have got this. I thought when the drops of rain come in the window, I thought that was it. I, I thought we were, we were done with it. Um, but... That breeze, it's still there. That just kept blowing. Uh, it's still, it's still quite warm, um, and that's just all that's done to it. It just dried it out really quickly. Uh, I, I waited a half an hour. I got back going, and the bales is a hundred percent. So I feel very, very lucky to have gotten the bales. Um, yeah, it's it's very dark. The, those clouds that come in, they just, they just. You can see them there. They're, they're quite low and they're dense and it has just blocked out all the light. I think it's only just after half eight at the minute. It feels like it's half nine, 10 o'clock. So, yeah, it's just the way the way it has worked out. Um, yeah, 181 bales we made today, so it's not too bad considering. The six acres here yielded very well bales-wise. The 11 acres, not so much, uh, because it wasn't slurried or fertilized. There was grass cover on it early enough, and the plan with it was to get it cut maybe around the middle to end of June but obviously then sorry yeah around the end of June but then obviously with the way the weather went uh, never got a cut so it, it didn't really matter it's, it's it going into the grazing system uh, for the cows uh, or the grazing rotation for the cows so uh, we weren't really stuck for it which which isn't too bad uh, but at the same time uh, yeah we'll get it slurried now get the bales off it over the next in the next few days and then next week we get it slurried and we get the grass coming on it and we get a couple of grazings of it before the end of the year. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, some more bales done the dust and out of the way. We still have... Oh... That's... This week we've... That's 17 acres now we've took out of the, the grazing this week. Or out of... That's 17 acres we've took out of the... So what have we left now here wise? We have So here wise what have we left? Uh, 17 acres now we got done and bailed up today. Uh, and then five acres when we were at the silage last week we put into the pit. So that has 
that's took the pressure off now we still we still have just over 20 acres of hay that we would like to make but we'll just have to see what happens uh, if the weather comes that's the whole thing uh, I, I mentioned earlier in the video that I thought the weather was going to be good next week it's not looking great now I don't think it's going to be as good as what uh, I had seen the forecast yesterday was showing that it was maybe going to be good in the early early to middle of next week but now it's looking like it's going to be showery so changing all the time so we just have to keep an eye on it uh, I know tomorrow is going to be a washout 30 mil of rain so uh, that's why the pressure was on to get this done and dusted but it's done that's the main thing uh, so yeah that's it it's actually getting darker with the second here so i'm gonna get finished up get back to the yard and uh, get everything locked up and get finished for the evening uh, i hope you enjoyed the video kind of a mix of a lot of different things that's going on over the last week uh, i've just packed them all in there um so i hope you enjoyed that uh, remember if you haven't already subscribed to the channel hit the sub button leave a like in the video comment down below if any questions or anything and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next one